Hi, my name is Justin and I'm a first year biomedical scientist at Imperial. The core structure for year one is essentially you spend most of your first term with the medics in lectures doing a module called Cellular and Molecular Biomedical Sciences. Then in the second term you do Biology of Integrative Systems which includes Endocrinology, Musculoskeletal and Nervous Systems and Haematology. And then in your third term you'll do Biology of Specific Systems which includes the hepatic and renal systems, the cardiopulmonary system, the reproductive system with development and aging, and you'll also do the gastrointestinal system. Um, alongside that, in the first two terms, you'll also do a module called science skills, where you learn crucial skills in uh, research and scientific study. So the approximate number of contact hours for a biomedical scientist in year one uh, may be 10 to 25 hours. And the majority of that time is spent in lectures but you also have practicals, tutorials, TBL sessions, and anatomy, where you'll do prosection in an anatomy dissection room. Just because we don't have as many contact hours as, say, engineers, doesn't mean that we have less work. It just means that we need to go away and take our own time to digest the information that we've been given that day and read around the um, the subject and find out more information for ourselves. One of the best things about coming to Imperial is that you are in London, which is one of the best cities in the world to be a student in. You're never bored here, whether it's uh, a Saturday and you don't have that much work and you decide to go to see a West End musical or whether you feel like going on a walk in Hyde Park, you'll never be bored. And yes, it may be slightly more expensive than some other cities to come to university in, but in my opinion, it's definitely worth it. When considering which halls you want to apply for at Imperial, there are a couple of key things to take into account. First of all, price. Imperial halls can vary in price from about £60 a week to £270 a week, depending on what halls you're in and what kind of room you're looking at. Next, you'll want to think about location. So as a biomedical scientist, you spend most of your first year in the South Kensington campus, in the Charing Cross campus, which is in Hammersmith, and in the Hammersmith campus, which is actually in Acton. So while a lot of other subjects may uh, prefer to spend their first year close to South Ken, it may not necessarily be worth it for a biomedical scientist because you're traveling so far from it a lot of the time. Next, you'll also want to think about uh, how much noise you can deal with. So for example, if you like to sleep early and you uh, can't fall asleep when there's a lot of noise, maybe one hall to avoid is bite because you're, you're around the student union, so every Wednesday, Friday and Saturday it can get quite loud and that noise will keep you up until quite late. And finally, you want to think about the size of the hall. So I'm in Pembridge, which has about 100 people in it. But then there are some halls which are smaller, like Xenia, which has about 50 people, and Woodward, which is absolutely massive. So I'm quite close to a lot of people in my halls and I know everyone by name. Whereas in Woodward, you definitely wouldn't be able to have that. So it just really kind of depends on what environment you want for your university experience. The Imperial College School of Medicine Student Union is the union that will be looking after you in your three years here. So it's an independent union of Imperial, uh, which means that even though it's a part of the Imperial College Union, it can operate separately. It also runs completely different clubs and societies, specifically for medics and biomedics. Um, so there's an extra set of clubs and societies that you can join. So for example, I joined two societies that I completely had no idea that I was going to join, which were Imperial Light Opera, which is the Musical Theatre Society, and Lacrosse. The Imperial College School of Medicine Student Union is very well known in Imperial for throwing the best events. So you will never forget your Freshers' Fortnight, because the Imperial Freshers' Fortnight is, is fine, but the Imperial College School of Medicine Freshers Fortnight is absolutely incredible. Finally, Notebank um, is a resource that will be available to you next year where you can access previous uh, year's notes to hopefully make your time at Imperial a little bit easier academically. There are an incredible number of facilities here for you to use at Imperial. For example, the Central Library, which is open 24-7, and Ethos, which is the sports facility in South Kensington, which has amazing resources like a gym, a swimming pool, sports hall, squash courts. You can think of it, it's there. And they also offer uh, sports therapy sessions, personal trainer sessions, and sports classes. There are also resources for you to use in the Royal College of Music, which is just next door if you want to hire out a practice room, and in the Reynolds, which is the hub of medic activity. Now, finally, 
Um, here's a cheesy collage of some photos of me and my friends over the first year. Um, I've had an incredible two terms at Imperial so far. And I know that one of my biggest concerns when coming to Imperial was that I thought that a lot of people here would be, you know, locked in their rooms 24-7 and not engaging with other people because they were too worried about their academics and what grades they were going to get. I can tell you for a fact that it's not that way at all. People here are absolutely lovely. And if you choose to come here, you'll have an amazing time. Hope to see you next year.